Hello and welcome to Insert a Hyperlink in Excel. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. Is there a quick way to insert a hyperlink to a file in a folder and retain the name of the file? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. In this exercise, we're gonna set up links to PDF files. That way it's easy to navigate to them from within this Excel workbook. First, select the cell where you want the hyperlink, then go to insert and then click link. This opens the insert hyperlink dialog. What we do is click exist existing file or web page, and then we can click browse for file. We browse to the desired folder, and then we change this filter so that instead of only seeing office files, we can see all files. We select the file and click OK. Now we've created a link that retains the file path and folder, making it easy to navigate to this file. We can just click this link and click through to the file. And this file just opened in the default application. We can set up another one for Feb, insert link, browse, Update the filter to all files and click Feb and click OK. Once more for March, how to do it. Insert link, browse, and March and OK. And that's how we can set up links to other files. And now that we've created hyperlinks to PDF files, let's take a look at setting up links to Excel files. Exercise two. When we're setting up links to Excel files, we can not only set up a link to the workbook, we can also set up links to a specific worksheet or a specific cell. Let's start by setting up a link to a workbook. Insert link, browse, pick the workbook, click OK, and once again, we'll click OK. Now it's easy to open this workbook simply by clicking this link, and that looks good. But what if we wanted it to open to a specific worksheet within that workbook? No worries. Insert link, Browse, select the file and click OK. Now, to pick a specific worksheet within that workbook, we click bookmark. And now we can see the worksheet names listed. So we can simply select the one we want and click OK and OK. And now when we open this workbook, we navigate right to that specific worksheet. Now, what if we wanted to pick a specific cell within that worksheet, within that workbook? No worries. Insert link, browse, select the workbook and click OK. Now we click bookmark. Now, in addition to picking the worksheet, we can also type a specific cell reference. For example, maybe B10. Click OK and OK. Now when we click this link, we see that that specific cell is selected within that worksheet, within that workbook. What if we wanted to simplify this link so it was just a little cleaner? No worries. Insert link, browse, select the workbook, click OK. Click bookmark pick the worksheet and enter the cell reference. Click OK. Now, instead of clicking OK, we just modify this text to display. By default, it uses the full path, but we can simplify this as desired. We can call this January file, and then we can click OK. And this provides a nice way to clean up the link. Now let's head to the next exercise, exercise three. What if we wanted our hyperlinks to look more like buttons? We just go to insert, illustrations, shapes, and we can pick any shape we want. In this case, I'm gonna go with this one. And then I'm gonna insert it into the worksheet. Now I can set up whatever type of format I want. For example, maybe I wanna turn off the outline and maybe I wanna use a gradient. You get the idea. Now I can double click the shape and type in whatever button label I want. I can also select the shape and then set up the cell alignment so that the button text is centered. I can also increase that if I want to. Now, all we need to do is right click, select link, and we're back to our familiar dialog. Once again, we can browse, pick our workbook, click OK. If we wanted to, we could also click a bookmark, select the sheet, click OK and OK. And now this shape acts as a hyperlink. We can also add hyperlinks to other objects as well. For example, insert, illustrations, icons. We can select any desired icon and click insert. And just like before, we can pick any type of formatting that we desire. And once again, we right click, link, browse to the file and click OK. Now this icon is also a hyperlink. We can also do it to pictures we insert. Insert, illustrations, pictures, place over cells, and in this case, I'm gonna use stock images. I can navigate to whatever desired category I want, select the picture and insert it. Once again, I right click, link, pick the workbook and click OK. Just like before, this picture is now a hyperlink. 
And that's how we can set up hyperlinks in workbooks. We started by linking to PDF files and we retain the file path. We also saw how we could link to workbooks, worksheets, and cells, and also how to change the friendly label. And then we saw how to use shapes and icons as hyperlinks as well. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University.